Top of the morning to ya. I use that Irish greeting because this is the first video in a series about Boolean algebra, which has its origins in Ireland. As we will discover, this mathematical system has very useful applications for working with logic circuits. Boolean algebra gets its name from George Boole. He was a mathematician and philosopher born in England in 1815. He became a professor at Queen's College in Cork, Ireland. There he wrote his most influential work titled The Laws of Thought. In it, he developed a system for representing logic statements mathematically, including features like the plus sign to represent OR. George Boole knew nothing about electrical circuits. They were after his time. He was a mathematician who developed a theory. Claude Shannon was the engineer who applied that theory and developed logic circuits in the 1930s. Claude Shannon is now known as the father of information theory. What Isaac Newton is to physics, Claude Shannon is to digital computers. Technically, the term Boolean algebra is a more general term than how it is often used. It could have any number of elements, but for digital computers we have found it most useful to work in binary. Therefore, we commonly use two-valued Boolean algebra, also known as switching algebra. If you hear the term Boolean algebra, it is generally safe to assume that switching algebra is the intended meaning. Those two elements in switching algebra are most often represented as 0 and 1. The only three operations are multiplication, addition, and complementation. A true table showing the results of each operation is shown here. It turns out that these three Boolean algebra operations do the same thing as the AND, OR, and NOT gates discussed in earlier videos. Here are some new terms for you. A variable is any symbol that is used to represent a 0 or a 1. A complement is the opposite value of a variable. As you know, this can be represented with either a prime symbol or an overbar. And a literal is either a variable or its complement. To distinguish between these terms, examine this expression. In it, there are three distinct variables, a, b, and c but there are five distinct literals. A bar counts as a separate literal from A, but it is the same variable. Now three more definitions before we conclude this introduction. Expression, equation, and function. These three are used to show similar things, but there are distinctions. Be sure to note these distinctions when asked for a specific term on an assignment or test. An expression has no equal sign, as you can see here. An equation does have an equal sign. It allows you to indicate that one quantity is identical to another quantity. A function also has an equal sign, but it explicitly identifies the input and output variables. Based on this notation, it is clear that a, b, and c are input variables, while q is the output variable.